In this video I'm going to show you how to use the Read Write Think timeline app. All you need to do to get started when you click on the link is to come in and put your name and then the project title and then click start. From there you can start adding items to the timeline. When you click on the timeline you'll be presented with a small editing box. This is where you can add the labels for your different battles or documents. You can put in a short description and you can also put in a longer description that is clicked on. But if you want to add an image, you can click on this choose image file. You may want to have an image preloaded by going to Google Images and having that image saved to your computer. Then you can select that image, you can crop and modify it, and then that image will be a part of your timeline. You can have elements of your timeline above or below the line and you can reposition them on the timeline by dragging the little circle. If you want to save your project to come back to it later you can click on the save button, name your file and then save it to your computer or if you're on an iPad it will save it there for you. Then you have to make sure you remember where you save it when you want to open up the file later on. If you're finished with your file you can do a couple of things. One is to take a screenshot of your timeline or you can click on finish and then save your final draft as either a PDF, print your final draft or email your final draft.